Good morning guys, it's John with One Big Impact. We're going to redo my mom's ghetto fence today. <laughs> She's got high ambitions of doing a fence and tore up her yard. So, I'm going to fix it for her and do it the right way. This is my mom. It's 3.30 in the morning. Good morning. We're going to set the post today. And... We'll keep you updated. Thanks, guys. Okay, starting to get the holes dug here. We're pulling 96 inches from where we're putting our post there. And over to the first hole. Digging it, digging it about 16 inches deep. Fill it with some cement. We're actually 96 on the first. And then just to where the gate's going to go here and then here. And to get our measurement from, to make sure it's in line with that one over there, we're actually pulling here from the chain link fence. Got about 158 inches over to there. And then we're also doing the same in that corner over to that corner. And then again from about 8 feet down to the end of that one. Just to make sure we're getting a complete square here. So that's how it's looking so far. Okay guys, good morning. Day two on the fence project. The posts are set. Just to show you what's going on here. Get the concrete in. We got them about 16 inches deep in concrete. Got the string line there. And uh, this is, right here is where our little gate's gonna go. And we're running over here. We got these neat little fence post caps. That have little lights in them. They're a little nice little added effect to illuminate this area once it's done. Um, what I'm doing here, right here, is I have my string line here, and I'm pulling nine inches from here to the edge of the post, and I want to continue that nine inches on every post. That way that I know my posts are going to be in line and straight with each other. Also, meticulously over and over when you're setting these posts, have somebody hold the top so that it's not moving around. And put your two foot level on the side and then on this side and then measure on the side, this side, measure. Keep doing it over and over and over. You can never be too accurate with your with your level and your measurement you want these guys to be in line and we're gonna start putting up panels so this is kind of what it looks like so far and just so you know right here we have an electrical line coming in it's a free service to have blue state come out if you're not gonna have them come out if you're a patient like me Dig it with a super salt small shovel and be very, very careful. If you hit that line, it probably is going to be the end of your life. So, thanks, guys. That's it. And just so you guys know, do yourself a favor when you're digging those post holes. Um, go pick up a post hole digger or borrow one if you have to, because it's going to be really beneficial and it's going to be the exact size that you need for digging or putting your 4x4 post in. You can use the cheap stuff, you know, it's going to last 10, 20 years approximately. If you live somewhere where it's real rainy, uh, make sure you're going to <coughs> also uh, weather treat it with like Thompson's water seal or something like that if you have to. It doesn't have to be that product, but it could be any product. Um, also, uh, in Arizona, we actually do these type of projects directly after it rains. First of all, it doesn't rain that often. Second of all, um, the ground's real soft afterwards. If we wait until, you know, wait when it's dry, there's pretty much no way that we're going to get an Ecclesi or clay type material. Um, you could run a post hole auger. You know, local hardware store is going to be about 40, 50 bucks for four hours. Would be more than enough usually for any small size project. Also, uh, if you can't get into the ground and it's real tough to get in, 
just uh, simply, you know, soak the ground three or four times. Alright guys? Okay guys, little updates. Uh, along the way I like to keep you posted. We're going to the hardware store and we gotta get a few things. We gotta get two 10 foot 4x4 four four posts and that's because we need four at five feet. Also, um, we're just gonna rip them right in half with a miter saw. And we need a torpedo level to make sure they're all gonna be level, of course. Uh, we need a string, some uh, probably hot pink <laughs> or uh, green twine string to pull a straight line. A couple pieces of rebar to attach it to at e each end. Uh, we're also gonna need some three inch screws for this project. And what else I got? Oh, a fly trap because I'm disturbing the ground and apparently there's something in there they like. Um, we're going to do two bags of concrete. We're going to use the quick creep because it's about a 24 hour set time. As soon as we put it in there, it won't be long. By tomorrow, we'll be able to put the fence panels on. Also, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I'll give you an update once I get to the uh, local hardware store. Thanks, guys. Okay, with a few simple tools, you're able to do this project yourself. See, you got crazy amount of clamps right there. I'm leveling to make sure it's all right. Never pay attention to the ground because that's probably going to be the most unlevel thing in your area. You know, if you look at it from a distance, looks pretty good. I'm having to scab on some pieces there because we're reusing some old fencing. But, uh,. If you look at it, it looks pretty straight. You just have to look at just the fence. Invest in some of these clamps because it makes it easy and you can do projects alone. Alright guys, we're starting to finish up the project here. This is day three on mom's ghetto fence. We're actually reusing the fence panels. I just wanted to show you a couple quick things. This one here is going to be offset from... You see how it comes out further than the back side of this pillar here. <clears throat> just so that when you look at it from that side, it just looks like a continuous line all the way around. And take some video when we're all done. If you guys got any questions, just let us know. These neat little solar caps are an added cool thing too. So, subscribe to my channel.